Hey guys, and welcome to the show. If you're here last week, you remember, we made this little lapel mic for about two bucks. You can click right here to see that episode. This week, we're going to continue with the budget filmmaking gear by making a little cardioid mic that you can stick in people's faces. Also known as a stick mic. <laughs> Okay, let's get started. You're going to need your microphone. We used one from Rock Band. You're also going to need solder and a soldering iron, a 3.5mm headphone jack, and our parts bin we found a cable with one already attached, so we're just going to use that. You're also going to need some heat shrink tubing. If you don't have that, you can use electrical tape. If you're using the heat shrink tubing, you're going to need a lighter to heat it up. And as always, my favorite multi-tool. Now it's time to get your microphone ready. Mine had this box attached to it, which I wasn't going to need, so I just clipped it off and disposed of it. Now, using your multi-tool, remove the insulation from the rock band cable, exposing the two wires inside. Take the unshielded wire and begin twisting it up. You'll need to do this for tinning it later. Now, take a little off the top of the shielded wire and start twisting that too. Make sure you cut the wire long enough so you can place some heat shrink tubing. Now it's time to grab your soldering iron. Begin tinning both the positive and the negative cables on your rock band microphone. Now, let's switch to the other side. I didn't need to buy a new jack since I found a cable in my parts bin which already had the end I needed. Same thing, strip off the insulation to reveal the two wires inside. If you saw my PC microphone hack last week, you'll notice that our cable that we used then had three wires inside, but it was easy to get around. Take your wires, twist them around, and get them ready for tinning. Now grab your soldering iron again and start tinning each side. Now it's time to close this patient up. Grab your knife and cut some heat shrink tube. Whoa, white mage, what are you doing here? Move out of the way, silly. Once my cat decided she didn't want to help, I took my heat shrink tubing and slid it down the cable. I also cut a smaller piece to replace the missing shielding and placed it on the cable. Now it's time to grab your soldering iron again. Take the two shielded cables and solder them together. Then you can take your heat shrink tubing, slide that up over the missing insulation, use your lighter, and shrink it down. Moving right along, grab the soldering iron and start soldering together the other side. Now, take the longer piece of heat shrink tubing and slot it over everything. Mine was a pretty tight fit, so I had to work at it a little while, but I managed to get it. Now take your lighter and start heating up the heat shrink tubing. This will give it a nice snug fit. You're now completed hacking your rock band microphone. So the microphone is done and you're probably wondering how it sounds. I actually used this microphone to narrate my last two builds, so you've already heard it. If you're wondering how the noise cancellation works, let's go to our correspondent Jamie who's out on the streets. Jamie? Thanks, Jamie. I'm standing here on a busy street to give you an idea of what we're working with. And now the rock band microphone. Now, my guest here today is Jared. Jared, would you just like to say a few words? No. Oh, fine. Pump a nickel. What? Leave me alone. Thanks, Jared. Back to you, Jamie. Thanks, Jamie. I noticed the microphone looks a little different from your build. What's that on top? Is that uh, some sort of a windsock? Yeah, so I built this windsock. This windsock is quite literally an old, an old sports sock. You gotta watch that. Watch so that. So now work. that we have a little wind going by, it gives you an idea of what's going on. Thanks, Jamie. That was Jamie reporting from outside, and his guest today was Jared. As you can hear, I was clipping a lot, but that's to be expected when you're using just a little bargain recorder like this one. This one doesn't have an on screen meter, and it also, you can't adjust the levels on this little guy either. We found out that we didn't have to yell into the microphone like we were, and that was responsible for a large bit of the clipping. Even though we were standing right beside each other, and yet we could barely hear each other, the microphone did a great job of cancelling out a lot of the outside noise. Our demonstration gave you an idea of the capabilities of this microphone, and I hope that gives you a couple ideas that you might have some stuff around the house that would work well for your filmmaking. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to tune in next week when you find out that I do a lot more than just filmmaking tutorials. Seeing as camping season's already underway, why don't we do a couple of camping tutorials? See you next week. Hey guys, and welcome to the show. Today we're going to be building a noise cancelling microphone that you can use out in traffic. Keep in mind, you're going to want to upgrade this microphone as soon as you can, but until you can afford that gear, this is definitely going to hold a spot for you in your filmmaking bag of supplies. Even when loud bikes go by. Back to you, Jamie.